your body starts to physically hurt. It is so freaking cold. A lot of people just go, I can't, I can't, <gasps> I can't, I can't, I can't. Get me out. Women are biohackers by nature. We're Lauren and Katie. We're taking a look at the wildest health hacks, wellness treatments, and the most cutting edge biotechnologies. We're taking you inside and unlocking the secrets only women could. This is Biohackers. As founders of Asana Company, it's pretty obvious that we love to get hot. But what about cold? I've never done the cold plunge like I did it that day. I can't catch my breath. Temperature contrast therapy is a powerful practice, one that has been around for centuries and has been linked to numerous health benefits. Today we're headed to Bathhouse where XPT coach Casey will take us through what he calls fire and ice challenge. So you guys have done um, cold plunges before, right? I've only been able to go in for what, 30 seconds? And yeah. then I'm like, I'm in so much oh, pain. Yeah. The ice bath can be really painful if you're not ready for it. How long are we gonna be staying in the cold plunge? Most people only start with 30 seconds, but for you guys, we're gonna go for three minutes. And oh, I know. Yeah. The last thing I wanted to do early in the morning was get into a cold plunge. But Casey's energy and his knowledge around it, I felt like I was in good hands. An ice bath can completely reset you by firing off all of that adrenaline, non-epinephrine, and the cortisol. Just that whole sensation immediately can snap you completely out of a funk. Go under and just... Are you supposed to get your head wet when you're in the cold plunge? Yeah. It's going to stimulate your vagus nerve, wow. which is going to reset your hormones and help with your digestion. And What if I wear contacts? It's Close like, your eyes. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get right? out of it. I had no idea how I was gonna get through it for three minutes, you know, especially because I'm not used to dunking my head all the way down. So today we're just gonna go through some breath work so that our body is primed and ready to go in the cold so we stay calm. A lot of people just go, I can't, I can't, <gasps> I can't, I can't, I can't. Get me out. I think you guys will be fine, but if you do panic, I'm right there. I'm already panicking, so we're, we're, I need this breath work more than anything. So let's do it. It's yeah. cool. Let's no, have, excited. have fun. Yeah. Woo! Yes! <laughs> He's definitely more excited than we are. First, he took us downstairs so that we could get prepared for the cold by doing some breath work. Let's get started. Why don't you lay down here, heads sure. facing that way. I put in a cadence breath just to get them familiar with relaxing their nervous system. So just exhale your air out. <laughs> Inhale for one, two, and then I did some apnea breathing just to get them used to increasing their CO2 tolerance before we went into the real stuff, the super ventilation. All right, I'll lay in. Also known as the Wim Hof method. So we took deep breaths in, in a circular motion, and then I had them exhale Let go. and hold at the bottom. Hold at the bottom for a minute and 30. So while they had no air in their lungs, their CO2 levels in their body rose. That's when you start to panic and feel like you need to take a breath. We're at 45 seconds. It can be hard for people to hold that. So they might feel some tingling, some lightheadedness. If you can learn to deal with this stress, then you feel sunk like into your body here, now, present. And let it go. <sighs> Nice. I actually find it really hard deep breathing like that, but it's worth all the benefits. I'm actually really excited to get into the cold. Or is at the beginning I was dreading it. Now I feel so relaxed and excited. Me too. I think the purpose of the breath work was really to ease into this state of relaxation and calm. Let's get in the cold. Let's go. Come on. The other benefit is since the adrenaline, the neuroepinephrine, and the cortisol are released to reduce the pain level on your skin. Alrighty. Okay. So, Katie, you're going first. All right. So we went from the breath work to the cold plunge, which is basically submerging ourselves in the freezing cold. You're gonna dunk, come back oh up, God, and so then cool. uh, check on your breath. All right, hold your nose, take a nice dunk. It's really cold and you get the pins and needles and your body starts to physically hurt. And immediately you start to panic. You start to want to gasp for air. You go, <gasps> I can't catch my breath. So I'm not used to dunking my head all the way down. My contacts got all over the place and I just felt like shocked and disoriented. So everything in your body is telling you that this is not what you want to be doing. You're doing great. You've been in for about a minute. I just saw the look on her face and she was like being tortured. All right, Lauren, come on in. And then it was my turn to go in. It is so freaking cold. Everyone knows that Dunk. bathhouse has the coldest cold plunge out there. And then catch your breath. It was pure pain. Sharp pins and needles. Jets over here. Your whole body contracts, trying to get all of your blood to go into the core to keep the major organs really warm. 
but as you relax, the pain doesn't go away, but your ability to endure it will be at peak performance. Katie, you have one minute left. Lauren, you've been in for 30 seconds. If there was no Casey there and no cameras, I probably would have been out within 30 seconds. All right, Katie, you can get out. That was three minutes. The three minutes felt like it took forever. I had to keep looking at the clock. Felt like it was the longest three minutes of my life. How are you feeling? Okay. Really impressive. They both did it. They had their panic come up. They were able to calm themselves down. And then by the time he let us come out, I didn't know how I was going to move my body. That's how cold I was. Like my body is not really working. So it's time to warm up. 10 minutes in the sauna. They went into 185 degree sauna. And this is what I call contrast therapy. To stretch the stress threshold of the body out. You go right into the hot sauna, which is of course pleasurable, but it's also a really weird feeling to be in a hot sauna and feel cold. Just such a relief for the body to start getting warmed up again, to increase blood flow. But we had to stay in there for quite some time just to work up that internal heat. All right, guys. To be able to go back into that cold plunge again. Come on in, have a nice dunk. And then the second round, they're even more ready to go. Come on up, hold your nose, go under. And they're even calmer right when they got in the water and were able to maintain that calm throughout, which is really awesome. You don't see that every day. You can dip your shoulders down. You can clench your fists and bring them up to your chest. Definitely being calm and connected and centered, which helps you mentally work through how freaking cold that thing is. Guys, you did it. Once we came out of the cold plunge, I felt very exhilarated. I could feel that rush of endorphins and the blood flowing from my internal organs to the rest of my body felt really amazing. Now I feel so good! Woo we did three rounds of that, but to like just get to the point of comfortable and then uncomfortable again, the contrast of it, it's really challenging. This process actually really like strengthens your heart function, boosts your immunity. I haven't gotten sick in five years, all through breathing and cold immersion but what you really feel the biggest difference in is your mood. You feel happier, you feel more motivated, you feel really high. It's really expanded my horizons of making my life feel more like a 10 rather than at a five. Doing the three rounds of it was, you know, very challenging, but very effective and just creating like a total state change. I loved it.